It seems these days every man and his dog is talking something about AI. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me, I want to talk about something that I'm going to give a go because I have seen so many people talking about AI. AI this, AI that, AI this, AI that. And most people seem to be talking about AI and that is a detrimental thing. And it possibly is, but I want to see, can I actually use it for my benefit? So one of the things that AI has come up with and Adobe have recently released it, which is noise reduction. And I said, you know what? How good could it actually be? And is there a possibility that I might be able to save an image that I've lost because of bad noise? Now, when I say lost, it was an image that I really, really liked. It was an image I took during a category four or five storm, a uh, red warning storm anyway, that came in to uh, Dingle. And I got one image of a wave as it breaks over a rock in Clotter. The disadvantage that you have when you're shooting in conditions like that is number one, it's typically a bit darker because you're not getting much direct light, you're in a big storm. And then number two, you have to go for a fast shutter speed to be able to freeze the action. So the only way to do that is to open up your aperture and increase your shutter speed. The third aspect is your ISO. And you either put your ISO extremely high or which I think what happened to me was my ISO was around about 400 and I had a fast shutter speed, but obviously not fast enough to allow enough light in so I could freeze the action. So invariably what I ended up with was a phenomenally good image of a breaking wave, but quite a lot of noise. Now I have looked at many, many things over the years and there was never really the technology there to enable it to be done right. I could have really gone into all the detail and doing color noise reduction, but now because of AI, let's see if it can rescue my image. So I'm gonna jump onto the computer here. I'll give you a look at the edited file that I would have done. I'll show you the challenges I had with it and then we'll bring it into Lightroom and we'll let it do its magic. So here's the shot in question. Let's see now if AI can rescue it. So I'm going to jump onto the screen here and I'll explain exactly then where my challenges are, like I said earlier, with this image. And then we'll bring it in and we'll see what Lightroom can do. Right, so looking at the image here, as you can see, you know, there's a phenomenal explosion of a wave. I have the image really sharp because you can see that these waves here are perfectly sharp. There's a bird who's flying in the mix of all this. This is the sleeping giant, which is on Far Marv. It's an island that lies just off the coast. But if I zoom in, you'll see straight away where my challenge lies. And as you can see here, you know, there's a lot of noise in the shadows, but there's also a lot of noise even in the brighter areas here and also uh, in the sky. So what I'm hopeful that I'll be able to do is when I bring this into uh, Lightroom, that it's going to be able to replicate the edit that I would have done, but also remove the noise. So if I take this here and I'm probably not even going to go into Lightroom, I'll go into uh, Photoshop and let's see what Photoshop can do with the image. So as you can see here in the raw file, it's quite considerably a lot darker. Uh, and when I look at this actually here, it was actually ISO 100 in fact, but it was a 1 800 and it was at F10. Uh, so a number of things there that I probably could have changed, but I wanted to get it as a fast uh, shutter speed anyway, nonetheless. So what I'll do here, just for the sake of clarity, I suppose, is I'll do a very, very quick edit on this image. So looking at my uh, histogram here, I'm going to bring up my exposure slightly anyway. I'm going to add a tiny bit of contrast just at the beginning, all right? So I can see I have a lot here that I can play with in relation to this. I could, theoretically speaking, bring it all the way up here and I'm still not going to be blown, but I'm gonna bring it back around here. Shadows, just a bit more detail here in these cliffs. Whites, I have a lot to play with, but it is actually uh, quite white here, all right? And then I'm gonna bring my blacks down and then moreover, and I think this is again, you know, similar to the video that I would have made uh, last week from a white balance point of view, you see this image here seems quite flat. So again, taking the white balance pointer, okay? And if I take that to something like this, you'll see then that the image is going to uh, change in relation to its color. I can also take my individual sliders and I can say, okay, I wanna make it a bit more blue here. I want to bring up 
a bit more on the magentas on the right hand side. Um, so yeah, look there, simple example in relation to that, okay. Dehaze, powerful tool, so you can see there's some lovely right light rays that are coming in here. But the main thing that I wanted to look at is how is it for noise. And as you can see here, it is full of noise. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down here into the detail panel and we're going to make this back out. Click on AI Denoise. So what this is going to do is it's going to give me a look here at a certain image and it's going to show me what the enhanced and stuff are or what the non-enhanced is. So I can move this around and let's just say I move it here to look at the bird. Wow, that makes a big difference. So if I click, you can see the amount of noise that's around the bird. And when I take it onto enhanced, cleans all of that up. Let's have a look over here. Wow, it is just completely removing any of that noise. Okay, so it tells me it's gonna take 20 seconds. All right, we're at uh, 50, I don't know. Uh, do I need more, do I need less? Let's bring this to 40. Let's go back again now to this bird. Yeah, I mean, 40 will seem to work as well. Okay, look, yeah, for what we're going to do in here, we're going to click on Enhance. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, edit this image further. I'll do an export in relation to it, and then I'll give you a look and a side-by-side -side on what AI could do versus what I could do. Okay, so here we go. This is the image here. It's been done, it's AI raw. So what I'm gonna do actually is I'm going to look at the original image first. So again, there you see in relation to the amount of noise that I would have had uh, in this area here. So if we now do a quick, wow, there's a big difference here. Okay, so if we look now, there is no noise, actually a small, tiny bit of noise. Maybe I should have stuck to the 50, but there's a tiny bit of noise here. But what I do notice, right, is that it seems to have been, okay, on this area here, it's, it's not after making it soft. The bird still has the detail. Um, but I noticed that the, the wave here, it does look as if it's more of a painterly. So if I go back to the original one, well, maybe not actually. Yeah, there's a bit more, roughness let's just say to the edge of the waves here whereas when I look at them here they're a bit more refined but nonetheless what that does is that it removed quite a lot of the noise uh, out of the image and it's a much better image now so yeah AI can actually save an image and I'd recommend actually now that I've done this as I'm going to do myself is I'm going to go back over older images that I would have taken that maybe the technology is there now, it can rescue those files. And I think it's something maybe you should try as well for yourself. So yeah, do I recommend the AI noise reduction? Yeah, it seems interesting, all right. Wanna play around with it a bit further. Don't know if I like the idea that it makes things a bit softer. That's generally what noise will do, but with the AI here, it's not losing a huge amount of uh, sharpness, but it's a nice advancement in relation to it. And you know, I haven't even, touched on the new AI generative fill. Maybe that's for another episode. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you'd like to continue on watching on the channel, there's another episode I'd recommend right here. And if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button right there. Thank you very much for watching. And until the next time, Schlange Fall.